All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another surprise resin video <laughs> or live video. And yes, we are going to be using resin again. Um, let me just get to the video here so I can see if anyone's tuning in. Um, obviously, this isn't a normal timing for the live video, but um, some people on the East Coast asked for some earlier times. And also, I just got this new product in that I'm super excited about. So, we're going to try it out. Hey, Ario. Alright, so I received resin today from Stone Coat Countertops. And this is art resin specifically. Hey, Libby. Um, so they do part A, part B. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Aunt Juju. And these bottles are 32 ounce bottles each. So I got that one. I'm just gonna show you all everything that I got here. Um, and then I got a bunch of different powders to try out. So these are actually mica flakes, which I am just like stupid excited about. So we got antique bronze, titanium, lavender, and black obsidian. And then here we have, these are all flakes by the way, Southwest, desert, sea glass, pyrite, and electric blue. And that's not all. I'm like, don't, don't, don't stop watching here. <laughs> all right, so then we've got all their metallic powders here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, whoops, there goes that one. They have so many different colors. Oh, I've got a lot of board over here. Well, whites, golds, bronze, pearls. Blues, reds, okay. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not even close to done here. Okay, we've got mica flakes, crushed pearl, gold rush, slate gray. Oh man, guys, we are gonna have some fun. So all of these. And then we have the, um, raw. so then we have the gallon size here. So these are each half gallon. So yeah, we got a lot of resin and a lot of powders and a lot of things. And we are going to not try every single one of them today because that would not be possible. But we're going to try a lot. <laughs> All right. So... Hey, just pour it out. Hey, Helen. Hey, Anna. Hey, everybody. Um, Anna, that's not really the subject of this video, but if you go to my playlist, there's one that's called Getting Started with Acrylic Pouring, and there's um, a video in there about my setup. So, yeah, Christina Welsh got hers as well. So, I'm not going to try the mica flakes just yet. Um, I think we'll try some of the powders here. We've got black, ocean blue, and tropical turquoise. Um, let's see, what else might... You know what, I'll use one of the pearls. Where is that? White metallic or pearl metallic? Which one? You guys vote. White or pearl? White or pearl? We can use some flakes. Why not? Reflective pearl mica flakes. See, I wanted to do a little more um, research on the flakes and what's really the best way to use them. Okay, pearl it is. Wow, that was like a unanimous vote right there. All right, then maybe we'll throw some of these um, sea glass mica flakes in there. Why not? I don't know, there's also electric blue. Okay, let's start with that. So first we gotta mix up the mica, or, 
the resin anyways to start with. Hey, Tina. Tina's in the house. All right. Another thing I totally forgot to do. Hey, Sarah. Give me just a second. I have to look real quick. Um, and here I'm going to put the link to their, um, they have so many products and they, they have stuff to do countertops. They have stuff to do, I think even floors, they have stuff to do like tables. Um, they just have all kinds of stuff and they have a lot of training, training and everything videos on there. So there's a link to their site. Um, and you can, if you do want to try something from them and order, you can use the code MMG for uh, $30 off of $80, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I'm just going to see if they have a calculator. I meant to do that earlier. <laughs> hey everybody okay so sorry one second this is um an 18 by 24 board that I'm gonna be using which is pretty exciting it's pretty decent sized surface there So, we're going to mix up about 15 ounces of resin. I know, my second's up. Yeah, so, um, just a note on Stone Coat Countertop Resin, guys. Um, it's owned by, I guess, two brothers, I think, Mike and Mitch. Uh, they are super, super, super cool and very, very nice as a company. I love them. And I've been watching their videos for a while and checking out their resin, and it was something that I really wanted to try. So I'm super glad that they contacted me. Um, yeah, we're going to just go for it. And as always, if we have some leftover, we'll just make another piece. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, these guys are really cool. I know. So, East Coast guys, I hope you do appreciate this video because this is pretty much specifically for you. <laughs> um, I mean, yes, I'm very excited to try the product, but I definitely wanted to get in a live video that you guys could catch. So... We've got our two things mixed here. Okay, just gonna let that sit and get the rest. And let's stir. Anna, um, I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll have to try. Between the two resins, you mean between these two bottles? Is that what you mean? One's um, the resin and one's the hardener, if that's what you mean. So, hey Trudy. Glad you stopped in and said hi. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's just a, you need both parts in order to harden. Um, otherwise it won't. <laughs> So I'm going to scrape everything else out of this cup. And basically, we mix up a big batch of clear for anyone who's never done resin before. And then, um, then we'll mix in our colors in smaller batches. So, hey, Crystal Lee. 
Yeah, no, I understand. Resin can seem a little daunting. Um, these are, yeah, the working time for this is about 45 minutes-ish. So it's about the same as the art resin for anyone who's tried art resin. And so far it seems to be about the same consistency as well. Like it's not super thin or thick or whatever. It's about the same. I'm totally like spilling over the edge here. This is why you wear gloves. Um, the guys that I was talking about are the stone coat countertop guys. I put a link above and I'm going to put the um, link in the description as well after the video. And in case you missed it, there is a code if you want to order from them. Um, if you use the code MMG at checkout, you get $30 off of $80. So that's pretty awesome. So. Hi, Angelina's Art Studio. Glad you could check in. If you don't own gloves, then I would not advise doing resin. <laughs> you can get away with not wearing gloves, I think, for acrylic boring. Don't quote me on that. I'm not advising it or anything otherwise. Uh, but with resin, you absolutely need gloves. Um, well, you know, let's read this. It says, keep out of reach of children. Um, it says here, don't eat it. Um, you know, it doesn't specifically say on here, um, but as far as I know, it's really low fumes, so, so no VOCs, which is like the harmful fumes. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty safe product. Um, I mean, it's like, obviously don't eat it, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so, and yeah. Cheap, you can get cheap gloves everywhere. So let's do this. I'm going to. Uh, we're going to switch gloves here. Yeah, no VOCs. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to say things like don't eat it, otherwise, people might actually try. You never know. Okay. So this is the Tropical Turquoise Metallic. And we're going to use the Ocean Blue Metallic. Alright, I'm actually going to do the white in a bigger cup because I'm going to mix up a little bit more of it. Well, this is the pearl. <laughs> Tide Pods. You guys. Okay, so that's the Pearl Metallic Mica Powder. Alright, now let's do... We're going to just go for it with these flakes. So this is the uh, Electric Blue Mica Flakes. To be honest, I don't feel like I've researched that enough, but you know me. I'm not against trying anything. Oh, Javier's in the house, everybody. He was a comedian in another life, if he isn't in this life. He's never actually answered the question if he's a comedian or not. <laughs> All right, we've got our colors here. I'm putting some new gloves on. Oops. All right. Um, I measure them just by eye. Honestly, I eyeball it. Okay, I'm just going to give the resin another quick stir just to make sure we're well mixed. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to just kind of pour pretty evenly in here. And then I'm going to add additional wherever I feel like it. Probably in the white. Plus it never hurts to have a little extra clear. So I'm going to leave that extra clear there. Save a for later in case. 
Yeah. I'm very excited about this. Okay. So the, <laughs> the mica flakes. I think this is pretty much just going to end up adding some um, texture. That's exciting. Actually, maybe that should have even gone in with one of the mica powders, but who knows? We're going to wing it, and it's going to be awesome. This is the blue. Mix this in well. I kind of can't believe I'm trying this out on an 18 by 24 <laughs> wood board to start with. That is a little bold even for me, but, you know, it's all going to be okay. <laughs> it's not complicated. It's fun. It's addicting. It's gorgeous. Sorry guys. I blame Spectrum, Time Warner. Could be Verizon, could be YouTube, could be Los Angeles. Okay, this pearl, are you guys, are we back? Is everyone back? Okay, good. Um, okay, so, um, Angelina, it depends on what you're asking by is it toxic. Um, I mean, no. No art products really are non-toxic unless they're designed for children, I think. Um, in terms of, like, toxic fumes and whatnot, it is a good product. It's totally spectrum. I would probably agree with you. I think they're crap. <laughs> okay, can you guys see this pearl? Because it is gorgeous. I hope you can see that. Am I holding it enough in front? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was a bad flux capacitor. I agree. Whew. My forehead is literally dripping sweat in here. Okay. So yeah, these mica flakes just straight up sank to the bottom as I expected. So I'm going to add some more of the clear varnish in the pearl here. Okay. Mix that up. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Okay. So I actually had a plan at the beginning of this video and then I 1000% forgot it. I honestly was going to try doing, um, like clouds and then I totally just got started and I forgot. So we may still be able to do it. Let's see. All right. We're going to start with laying down some of this pearl here. Yeah. The flakes would be excellent for doing a geode. I would agree with that. Okay, next we're going to do some of this black, black metallic. There's a fly flying around the studio and it's driving me crazy. Okay. That is the rest of that black metallic. Yep, we're still on track. All right, here's that blue. What is this called again? Ocean blue. What I love about resin is how it always kind of looks like a hot mess until you actually start to move it around and then you're like, ah. All right, so that's the blue. And we're gonna throw some of this green in here. Can I do it along with the blue? Right. Okay. 
So at this point, we're going to start manipulating. Um, this resin has about a 45 minute work time. So I'm going to use the heat gun. And this heat gun doesn't really move it around much. Um, it'll just help get rid of the air bubbles and it will soften it a bit so that it's a bit easier to move around. Okay. Although it is darn tootin' hot in this garage, so it's probably already pretty easy to move around. Okay. So I have a mica spot in there. It. Um, why the heat gun and not the torch? Well, the torch is really just for getting rid of air bubbles. It's not really to help um, manipulate it. The heat gun can help manipulate it. Okay. So, unfortunately, my bad. I see a couple spots here where I did not mix in the mica powder well enough. So... We're just going to go in and mix those in. She won't really notice it while it's dry, but when it is, or while it's wet, but when it's dry, you'll totally notice it. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do <laughs> with this blue mica powder here, or mica flakes. I am going to mix more of the blue in there. Um, the blue mica powder. And I'm going to mix it much better than I did the last time. So give me a minute or a few. You know, just talk amongst yourselves. Everyone's still there? Ah, my new heat gun. Yeah, I did use my new heat gun. I actually made a video with it, which will be coming out tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, for my live videos, I need to get another extension cord in order to use that one. So the mica flakes, just so you guys know too, are, yes, good for geodes, but they're also good if you're doing like a galaxy kind of look, um, where you have maybe the black metallic or something, and then you use the, um, like maybe silver flakes or whatnot in there. So, all right. I am not... <laughs> I'm not super thrilled with this so far. I mean, obviously we're not done, but I feel like I need a bit more of a contrast here. Um, so I'm going to look through my colors real quick and see if there's another one that I want to use. Maybe even, um, <laughs> yeah, a hair dryer. I think I might, but I'm going to also try some of this copper. Mixing it with the rest of my leftover resin here. I don't have a red, I don't think, but I'm going to do copper, which will be awesome. 
And yeah, I think I will get the hair dryer out. Okay. So I'm going to mix copper metallic and black metallic and see what I get. Because I want definitely like a darker color. This is cool. Looks like an espresso kind of color. Alright. <laughs> Someone who's playing music super loud. Can you guys hear it? It's a fun song. Get out the hair dryer here. All right, turning on the hair dryer. So now that we just entered all kinds of air into that, let's torch this a bit. Okay. Yeah, it does kind of look like a map at this point. I'm really interested to see how those flakes are going to dry in there. <laughs> Now I'm going to add in this darker color. And I want this to kind of stream through here. Cool. Awesome, Bridget. That's exciting. Okay, I have a little more pearl left. I'm going to add along some of the edges here. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna manipulate it with my finger a little bit here, and then I'm gonna tilt, and then I think we're good. I'm actually quite happy with this now. Sometimes it takes a minute. Sometimes it gets a little worrisome. But in the end, it all works out. Okay, so I'm going to just manipulate it a little bit here.
Almost. Almost, guys. Hang in there. Okay. I think we're good. That was very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Um, the cool thing about resin, especially when you do it on a board, is that you can layer and layer and layer and layer it. Um, so we'll see how this dries. And then depending on how it dries, I may decide to sand it down a bit and put another layer on top, which is... Um, Using a wood board is definitely best for doing resin if you can, as opposed to a canvas, because the canvases will sink um, in the middle, like no fail. And so adding another layer may be too thick and may crack it. So let's go ahead and we'll do a close up here. I kind of do wish I had used the white instead of the pearl, um, but I like it. This is pretty gorgeous and definitely interesting. Not quite my usual. Yeah, the resin is very 3D. <laughs> it is like I am in a sauna. I'm literally dripping. Okay, so you can kind of see over here the mica flakes. You see the bit of texture. Here is that green, which is really pretty. Hey, Leanne. Yep, you made it. Um, yeah, and even the, the sinking on the canvas, that can add some really cool effects as well. So there you have it. Yeah. This inadvertently ended up kind of being a map of the earth. <laughs> All right. Put you back. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the impromptu live. Um, I will definitely be doing a lot more experimenting with this resin. And I really look forward to working with this company. And just as a reminder, and for anyone that turned in a biddle, a biddle, <laughs> tuned in a little late, um, I'm going to be putting a link to purchase the products in the description if you're interested. And also, um, you can use the code MMG at checkout for $30 off of $80, which I thought was super cool and super nice of the company to do that. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed. <laughs> you're welcome, Tammy, any time. Maybe, um, you know, maybe it's a good weight loss program. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. And um, I'll see you guys next time.